Senor Tobias. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Master Fayfar, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Did you really? Do tell. Close to Rovna, I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. Unfortunately, I came too late. The carter and his men were dead. Damn and blast. Do you know who did it? Yes. A certain knight turned up there. Turned out he was also after the forger. Well, that is indeed unexpected. Tell me, what did he say? His name is Ulrich. He looked like a knight, but he refused to show his master's colours. Ulrich, you say? Hmm. Could be anyone. Can you describe him? An older man with a moustache. But for all his grey hairs, he seemed pretty tough to me. Hmm. Doesn't match anyone I've heard of. But then we don't even know if Ulrich is his real name. I asked him who his liege was, but he refused to tell me. We live in such strange times. In days past, knights would vie with each other to see who could extol their liege's name the loudest. And today, they take assumed names, hide their emblems, mm. and sneak around the land like thieves. I got the impression he was hiding his identity because his master's at odds with Sir Radzik. That may well be. As a staunch supporter of the king, Sir Radzik has many enemies. He gave me these documents to show you. He seemed to think they prove he was telling the truth. They're the records of the interrogations in Passau and some other things he said you'd understand better than him. Hmm. Let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, mm -hmm. interrogation held this day, mm -hmm. put to pain by the quester. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Hmm. Which certainly confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sasso. Coin assay report. Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, but this is Henry bricked up on a, s on a Saturday afternoon. Of how the forgeries are made. I'll have to study it more closely. Oh yeah, we we got juiced armor now, man. To investigate and let no man stand in his way. This looks like the original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Paso alderman, but they certainly didn't pen this. How do you know? I recognize the hand. It's a Clement of Caplitz, the high scribe of the Rosenbergs. Rosenbergs? Rosenbergs? Who's that? A rich and powerful family in South Bohemia. Burgrave Henry III is a great rival of our King Wenceslas. So what does all this mean? Well, it certainly explains why your knight is so mysterious. Anyway, we should be careful. And we shall begin our investigation. The documents show they use silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. That's a lead we can follow. Amal what? Silver amalgam. It's produced from quicksilver in silver. Well, that doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Hmm. You're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? At the inn on Sasso Market Square. Luke, you're going to be upset, but I had to trade Pebbles in for a newer model. Take. I actually don't even know why, where I'm running to. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Stairs in. I'm probably not allowed to be up here. I guess I can be. I must your this is the feller. I've come from <clears throat> Captain Robar. And what might the captain be wanting to let me know? I'm not a messenger. I've nothing to report. The captain thought I could lend you a hand. Oh. So it's you, the hero of Tomberg. So be it. If you succeed, I'll gladly reward you. And if you don't, I won't be shedding any tears. Cool. We know that You're one dick. of their we get encampment it. is on the hill by Skelets, nearby the mines. I'll take a look there. Farewell. I'll be with you. What's the matter? 
It's the tawny. It always upsets me. What tawny? You don't know about the tournament? Sir Hanush decided to revive the regular Rat-Eye tournament again. The first one will be tomorrow, in the courtyard at the upper castle. Why would the tourney upset you? It brings back sad memories about my son Svartabruk. God rest him. He always loved sword fighting. Even when he was just a lad, he used to duel with his mates with sticks. And for years he saved every groschen he got so he could buy a real weapon. It wasn't long before he had the hang of all sorts of fancy strikes and feints. So when he heard Sir Hanush was holding tourneys for common folk, he was first in line to enrol. Did your son ever win the tourney? Oh, aye, more than once. Svartapluk wasn't the strongest, but he was agile as a weasel, and he put his heart and soul into it. So what happened to him then? Well, this fellow by the name of Peter enrolled. They called him Black Peter on account of the colour he wore. He beat all comers. No man could match him. Black Peter. Only huh? Spartapluk was determined to take him, so he started training all the hours God gave. He even started they knew what going they were to Captain doing. Bernard for lessons. And in the last tourney, he got the better of Black Peter in the end and won the prize. <laughs> Only he never came home that day. I figured he was having a drink in Rate to celebrate his victory. But he didn't even turn up in the morning, and I started getting worried. I was just on my way to look for him when some merchants came by. They found my boy by the road just past Rat. His nickname is BBC. <laughs> yeah. He was still alive, but he was burning up and shaking like a leaf. I sent for the sawbones right away. But before the day was out, I had to send for the priest. Hmm. Look, I'll try and find out what happened to your boy. I can't promise anything, but if I turn anything up. I'll let you know. Oh, thank you. I swear to almighty God, I won't let you go unrewarded. Farewell. You. I must reward you for saving my livelihood. If folk believed the stories, well, I dread to think how it could have ended up. Oh, I can think of a perfect way for you to reward me. Still. Sometimes words can hurt a man more than a blow from a mace. Here's your reward. You've earned it, lad. I'm here at the behest of Sir Divish. I'm looking for the overseer of this quarry. Would that be you, Goodman? Aye, that's me. What can I do for you? Sir Divish has decided to rebuild Pribislavitz, and he's entrusted me to take charge, along with his locator. Aha, uh -huh. so it's you. I heard about Sir Divish's plans. What is it you need, then? Well, we've started with the reconstruction work. Yeah, me sounds like it hurts pretty good, work. man. You need stone for the construction. Exactly. And for repairing the church. Well, now, you're really not doing things by halves, are you? The thing is, though, we're already working flat out supplying stone for the monastery construction in Sassau. I can't cut back on their supplies. Sir Divish wouldn't be at all pleased. But I really need that stone. Well, I suppose I could try and hire a few more quarrymen to increase production. But we can't transport it. Even Sassau sends their own wagon here. Have you got someone to carry the stone? I've got my own merchant. He'll take care of it with his hired hands. Splendid. So let's talk about the price. Okay. Four thousand. What? The stone is for Sir Divish. It's for a village he wants to rebuild as quickly as possible. I doubt he'd take it well that the overseer of his own quarry is overcharging him for it. Well, you have a point. I'll take that into account in the price. Hey, that's still too much. But I can't sell my stone any cheaper. I wouldn't be able to pay my men. If you won't accept the price, we're done. Mm. All right, Fine. I agree. 
We won't have enough money to build the tavern. Excellent. We'll start sending the stone as soon as your merchant gets here. God be with you. Buddy. This one he's going to talk to me, buddy. Maybe you're going to talk to me or you're just going to stuff your stupid faces. Good God, you look I'd like to buy charcoal from you. Of course, Henry, anything for you. It might be more than you think. How much charcoal could you possibly need? Five bags. On a regular basis. Haven't you noticed winter is over? There's a new forge in Privislavitz. And I need to supply it with charcoal, seeing as how I'm the bailiff. Bailiff, eh? Well, I never. Moving on, eh? Uh, it's not a bed of roses, but thanks. All right. But we can't let you have that amount for nothing, even if you did help us with ginger. Don't worry. I wouldn't expect that. How are you going to haul the charcoal? I've got a merchant of my own. He'll come here regularly with a wagon to pick it up. You just have to load it for him. As you wish. God be with you, About Henry. the price. Deal. 180? Okay. All right. But we'll send the first load compared to the other one was. Here. God be with you. Bailiff is not a fan of me, so we'll see. Hey, buddy. Sorry about breaking your teeth. You. I'd like to buy some grain. Grain? What do you want grain for? I'm responsible for the rebuilding of Privislavitz. Hmm. I heard some talk about that. I suppose I can sell you part of the crop. How many bushels do you want? I'll need fodder for horses, at least ten strong animals, and wheat for the baker. He'll have to bake for the whole village. That's quite a lot. It won't be cheap. Well, even though it's for Sadibish's village. Aye. Unless he sets the allocations himself, I have to make up for any differences in supplies. And you'll have to pay for that. Have you got someone to transport it? Or are you going to haul it there yourself? I've got a merchant to take care of it. Fair enough. Here's my offer. Sure. Uh, all right. I'm like... What's funny is, is like, I'm just like slinging around King's money. I was just a blacksmith. I was just a little, little old boy living in a village. And then I guess I'll go try to kill those bandits and, you know. Oh, I see him. Huh. The fools. Here we are again. That's one. He'll probably bleed out. You ain't taking two arrows and walking it off, buddy. Sorry. Oh, you running? Yeah, that's what I thought. to buy some livestock could you arrange that maybe what are you after cattle pigs poultry everything <laughs> starting a farm are you <laughs> 
swords into plowshares. No, no, it's not for me. It's for the village of Pribislavitz. What? For the whole village? Aye. A few dozen people, at least. Well, now, uh, that's no laughing matter. But it can be done, although they might not be the best animals. What do you mean, not the best? Well, it's like this. I've got to supply meat for the Lord's table, too. And the gentry in Ledechko want the best. So what's left for me, then? The animals might not be as good as what you'd get somewhere else. I'll sell you older beasts, ones that ain't so fat and the like. Or ones no one wants to buy, because they don't like the look of them. That's how it is. But for that, I'll give you all the better price. Have you got someone to herd the livestock there for you? I've got a merchant to arrange it. So we'll shake on it? Deal. Take care. Oh, shit. You guys gonna fight? They look like they have even better armor on this time. I gotta be careful though. Let them duke it out. Then I'll just have to run around the field again. Get that close to me. I'll slaughter you. Yeah. They don't have stamina bar, do they? Is that all you got? Yeah. Yeah. You're dead. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. No. Shit. I really should have saved. You'll get one. Ah. yourself take that God 
What is going on? I've hit this guy so many times. shit. Right, suck it. Oh, what a fight. How's he still alive? I guess I have a concern and that is if I take like I could sell all that stuff to the merchant to the fence but he's not gonna have enough money to buy it all off of me would be my main concern yeah All these boys got these are like those guys at scouts Holy 
Are you serious? What in the fuck? not dead.
Well, we ain't done yet. That was an intense fight, though. I guess I don't really understand. Uh, they give you combos and stuff to do. However, every second or third attack, they're, uh, they're just going to do a repost or something along those lines. Thanks for nothing. Attack him. Don't know why they go to sleep in the middle of the day. I ain't second guessing it. Jesus Christ. Be I have some. Let's have them. There are plenty of. My lad. The wrath of God personified. Oh, yes. And there is. At least one piece of good news today. There. Take 2,000 gold? What? What do you mean? 
That's so much money. It's a king's ransom. What's up, buddy? Sir, a word, if you please. We've met before, haven't we? Oh, I remember this guy. We have. And you defeated me in combat. So now, I seek a reprisal. Why not? I could use a little exercise. Excellent. Sounds good. I'm a lot more uh, fit. Let's get to it then. That treasure of yours you sent me to get. Did you find it? It belongs to Beren. But... But I couldn't know that. Well, fine. Look here, Kunesh. I can't watch you wasting away here anymore. How would you like a job? Working for you? Where? In Pribislavitz. We're rebuilding the whole settlement. You could maybe work there as a woodcutter. Oh, I could cut wood, but what's it worth to you? Supposing I give you some coin to get started. Will you go then? I might. How much are you offering? That was the easiest coin I ever made in my life, huh? Fine, I'll chop your wood for you. And every evening I'll drink every grosh and I make. Think was gonna happen, buddy. Shame. 
Is that it? Is this him? What do you think you were doing, bud? Again. Shame. That's right, there's a quest here I've been basically running yeah. by multiple times. We'll see what happens. Mr. Miller. God be with you. One of your hands told me you're holding a cumin captive. You heard correctly. I have my own plans for him, but I need a bit of help. I'll help you. I've got some unfinished business with the cumins. I'm guessing you're from Scalitz then. I am. Very well then. I plan to question the bastard and find out where he hid all the plunder he's been taking. Yeah, it's messing with my feet. I'm guessing you want to return all that loot. Very... All right. I'll... Do you speak Hungarian? No. I don't. Then you won't get anything out of him. But if you want to help, you can. A little down the river is a mill. The men said there's a vagrant there who swears in Hungarian when he's playing dice. Hmm. You could go there and find out if he knows any more than curses. All right. I can handle it. Thanks. Oh, well. Ah, I heard you know how to speak Hungarian. But are you fluent? Ah, I'll speak it well enough. But why are you interested, brother? I might have a job for you. A job? And I was hoping you were coming with an invitation to a drink or a message from my mistress. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but I can offer you a few groschen for your trouble. Ha! Nehil boni sine labore. What? Here in Bohemia, they say no bread not paid for with sweat and yet they promised me easy work here and nevertheless so far I've been breaking my back so first tell me what this is all about I need someone to question a cumin I can see you're not tongue-tied and you know Hungarian so it shouldn't be a problem for you Lord almighty a cumin ah, but what does it matter my employers here want to send me back on the road come the end of the week how much are you paying? How much would you like? Well, the question is, how much are you offering? You know what? I'll go ahead and give them more. Fine. Because I'm rich Sounds now. Like a fair deal. And where do you have I make so much money. Rules? Have you heard of the mill in Bougie? Of course. I've won at dice against the band that works there more than once. Good. Then we'll meet each other there. Excellent. So, let's begin. Tell him. Man, I look cool. One and only chance to save his neck from the gallows. He's gonna the horribly mistranslate. Tell him I know damn well he's got stolen valuables hidden somewhere around here. I mean, Utsalov got down. Let's make more to him like that. What's he saying? Well, he seems to be resisting. Tell him if he carries on being stubborn, I'm going to lose my patience. Now, Mon, hold on. I'm going to tell you, but 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 I'm going to
Már Gazden Erdeng. Akkor jó, hogy értik egymást. Jó figyelj, azzal a nagy várossal szemben a folyónál. A tájra gondolsz? A nevét nem tudom. Egy nagy város, várfalakkal. És van ott két vár. Szemben a folyó túlpártján van egy tom. Ha a város felé nézel, van mellette egy út. Azon az úton van egy kereszteződés, egy kiégett fával. Viszonnan egy kis ösvény le a vízhez. És lent a víznél van egy kivált fató. És a van? Igen. So? Is he saying anything? Um, no, not really. He just keeps swearing. Tell him he's running out of time. They should have killed him. They're plotting. They're plotting against me. Well, now, he started to talk. He says he buried the coin somewhere in the forest, but he can't describe the place exactly. He says he can take it, though. Fine. That's good enough for me. Mr. Miller. We went to interrogate that human. Is that so? Tell me about it. You were right. He's got coin hidden somewhere. Ha! You see? That's the legendary Miller's instinct for you. The only trouble is, he can't quite describe the way there to me. He wants to leave me himself. So, what are you waiting for? Go with him. Get the money and bring it back in. And what to do with the cumin afterwards? Once you've got the coin, you can do what you like with that heathen. All right. I'll get going then. Good. And don't even think of trying anything underhand. Don't worry, Miller. <laughs> There's not really a quick way to get to the back side. Come on, get up! Now, you're gonna be a good boy and show me the way to your fucking stash. You better hope there's still something there to find. Igen. Valahol itt van. Yep. Look what I've got for you. You'll love it. believe you. I won't fall for that a second time, you Hungarian swine. No, no, I'm money, truth. Okay, right. we'll try, try again. One more time. But you better not have any more friends in the region. Thanks. Köszönöm, köszönöm.
Well, these two are pretty much the same. Only one of them I have to actually go to retire. And then, uh, really is kind of cruel. But what happens? I let him go, and he just joins the next human band, and then he kills my. I know comrades. if I let you go, you'll only cause more chaos and bloodshed. I'm sorry, but this can't end any other way. Oh. Okay. 